I'm Andy Curcio from Georgia State College of Law, and my colleagues are doing amazing stuff. My presentation is about integrating experiential learning throughout the curriculum, large section, small section, using adjuncts, using practicing bar, and instead of hearing from me, you're going to hear from them. After years of teaching a two semester course on doctrinal contract law, we decided in our section of contracts to integrate doctrinal contract law with transactional contracts. In the second semester of contracts, we spend about a third of the time translating the deal into a contract. We deconstruct and analyze contract terms. We perform a series of exercises focused on the organization of a contract, the drafting process, ethical issues arising from the drafting process, and contract terms and conditions. So what I do in my nonprofit organizations class is I have each student create their own nonprofit organization. And so therefore, as we're talking about the state law organizational documents. Students are working on articles of incorporation, bylaws, uh, board of directors minutes, things of that nature. In two large section classes, civil procedure and evidence, I use case files that have documents that real lawyers use, police reports, medical records, witness statements, photos, etc as a way to teach students how the law that we're learning is actually used by lawyers. These case files we use for in-class exercises and I also use them to assess students and it's a wonderful way for students to really understand how the law we're learning works in real life. So in my 30 student unincorporated business associations class, students learn the applicable legal default rules of uncorporate entities, so anything that's not a corporation, through three client simulated transactions that they complete throughout the semester. One, I think they learn the, the doctrine, the, the rules better this way, but I also think they get a chance at developing professional identities, um, getting to work in a problem-solving, client-driven environment, and they also get to try on their role of being a lawyer. I teach Law and Health Equity, which is an experiential learning course, and it introduces students to the socioeconomic causes of chronic illnesses, and the students work in low-income and minority communities in Atlanta to develop projects that mitigate these health disparities. Throughout the course of the semester, the students learn interviewing skills, client counseling skills, they develop the skills needed to um, teach and learn about health equity, so they really help the community in the education process. They really get a chance to get introduced to a group of people who are really engaged with them and who really respect their ideas. The students' main focus is making sure that the work and the final product is something that the, the community needs and it's not just something that the students are looking at from the outsiders and imposing on the community. In this course, which I co-teach with Tiffany Roberts, students observe the work of a solo or small firm lawyer, use online case management software to simulate working in a firm, and handle a domestic violence case from beginning to end. What I really like is how inspired the students are by the time they spend in their field work with solo or small firm lawyers. They come back to class and they write about it in their field work reports, but these are people who are absolutely happy about being lawyers, fulfilled in the work they're doing, and are really uh, top practitioners in their field. We developed a class, the Bankruptcy Assistance and Practice Program, which pairs teams of two students with an outside mentor attorney to handle all aspects of a simple bankruptcy case. I did the course mainly because I, I really enjoy working with students in, in the trenches and what it's like to represent a client, 
what it's like to have cases and to give them that practical experience before they get out of law school. This fall, we're offering a new healthcare transactions and regulatory practicum. Uh, the course is being taught by two adjunct professors who are practicing healthcare attorneys here in Atlanta, plus myself. Um, and it's a transactions course and it's a simulations course. We're going to take students through a series of mock transactions that are healthcare related, but they're not going to be representing real clients. So in this course, the students are going to learn a bunch of transactional and lawyerly skills that they typically wouldn't learn in the classroom. Um, these include writing contracts, drafting contract language, reviewing contracts, negotiating contracts, advising and interviewing clients. Um, and in this way, it really exposes students to a lot of skills that typically, you know, when you graduate from law school, you don't necessarily already have. My international human rights law seminars are designed to provide hands-on experience for students in the work that's actually done by human rights lawyers. Each time we do a different topic and we addressed immigration detention in Georgia, political prisoners, um, corporate responsibility, a variety of topics. My goal is for students to learn not only that international human rights law exists and how to find it and how to articulate it, but to see that real lawyers do this work and to learn how it's done and to participate in it to get a real feel for the litigation that's engaged in by human rights lawyers. So in my health law class, I've got 50 students and I wanted to integrate skills with doctrine to help the students understand their roles as lawyers, as well as to help them apply the doctrine. So I did two exercises, one of which they had to speak with either a family member or a classmate and talk to them about their preferences for end of life care, and then write an advanced directive based on that conversation. On the advanced directive discussion, class of 50, half the students spoke that day. It was one of my most exciting classes because half the students spoke and they hit everything that I wanted them to get out of that assignment. Um, it's probably one of my best days as a teacher.